Hello, my dear friends! Welcome back to my channel! Thank you so much for watching! I am going to make Rahat Lukum, Turkish delight. It's gonna be homemade. Today is another wonderful day. It's October 2nd already. I've got my pomegranates from the farmer's market and I'm going to clean them, cut them and clean. But I'm not gonna use all those pomegranates for my juice because I'm planning to share another dish with you hopefully very soon and I will use those pomegranate as well so I will clean my pomegranate for my natural juice for this Turkish delights and I'm going to actually use a little bit less ingredients because I'm not gonna make a lot but I am going to tell you what you need you will need 200 grams of pomegranate juice 200 grams of corn starch 300 grams of water 300 grams of sugar if you want to use lemon juice you can uh, use one or two tablespoons of lemon juice if you like i also added one and half around one or two tablespoons of rose water and then i will use walnuts at the end so i am mixing all those ingredients right now and then i am going to boil them but before boiling i have to mix them i have to start mixing it's very important so i added my sugar now and i'm going to mix it well add all these ingredients and then i will boil it for one minute in a, a high temperature only for one minute and then after one minute i am going to um, have a very slow heat very slow and i will boil it for seven minutes here is my natural juice lemon juice and rose water i am mixing it i have full attention on my cooking and my presence here i have to be very very you know alert to mix it so it will be it, I can't even waste few seconds because I want it will look good so I have high temperature right now and then I'm changing it into uh, slow very low heat and already you see how it looked like and I did not add any artificial or natural colors this is pomegranate natural color that you saw from my ingredients i did not add anything and i'm so happy that it looks so so beautiful already we're not even done sometimes people um, you know spend around 30 45 minutes mixing but this recipe is amazing and you will spend only five to ten minutes i spend in between seven minutes only and when i will finish uh, when I turn off my heat, I am going to add my walnuts, one cup. You can add half cup, one cup, or do not add walnuts if you don't want. It's up to you. You can add pistachios, they will be the best. I love walnuts and I had them at home, so I am adding walnuts to this Turkish Delights. And I am going to mix them well and I am done, guys. Now I am going to prepare my... Uh, you know like lunch container because I, as I told you I did not uh, make cook a lot but the secret is to apply some butter or oil so when you will turn it um, on the other side around it is not gonna be sticky and it will be easier for you or you can put also you know um, coconut flakes I decided to put oil some butter I mean because it will be very good and here is a piece that I'm going to try now um it is delicious it's hot and it is so delicious I'm really excited and I am going to keep it here in the room temperature for a few minutes and then I will transfer it into my fridge for about an hour you can even keep it in the room temperature because it will be ready very soon maybe in half an hour 
and I'm not joking. My cat is sleeping, we have rain all day, and the cats have great life, aren't they? They are so cute. So now, after one hour, I removed it from the fridge and I thought I will try to check with a knife, but then I found that it's really great that I put some oil, some butter. Look at this, it looks wonderful. And now I'm going to apply some coconut flakes and cut it. You can cut your Turkish delight into any, uh, you know, size that you like. You are the boss. If you like small sizes, cut it small. If you like large, cut it large. Up to you. Look at this. It looks so good. It really looks good. And the color is wonderful. The nuts are here. And now I'm going to continue cutting into the pieces that I like. And I'm going to transfer them into my plate after I will, you know, uh, put a little bit more coconut flakes. And it will be ready, like candies. Very, very, very nice. And um, I'm so happy that the color is just beautiful, natural. Here is my Turkish delights, almost done. That's what I'm going to do, just from all sides. Put them into the coconut flakes. Some of them little bit small, it doesn't matter, it's all homemade and they look so good. I'm going to put them into my um, plate very soon. And here they are. Here is my Turkish delight, looks so good. Natural color, homemade. I'm really excited to share this recipe with you. I'm so happy that you, uh, you know, hopefully will make it. I'm already happy for you because it is not difficult and you will be so happy to try it. I'm gonna try it now and tell you. Mm, my God, it uh, honestly does not taste like from the sh shop, from the store. It's more, I mean, it's like more homemade. You can tell that it's homemade. It is very delicious with natural ingredients and honestly it's not very sweet I thought it would be very sweet <laughs> it's very delicious and so good I'm so happy that you watched my video until the end thank you so much I wish you have a great day and see you next time bye now